guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little recap slash highlights slash my thoughts on last night's Oscars award show. And I know a lot of you don't have time or can't stay up that late because you work or have school the next day to watch it. So this is just some of the things that I really enjoyed from last night's show. As usual, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that down below before we get started. And yeah, let's talk about the Oscars. So the 2019 Oscars Awards, how do we start off? Well, first of all, there was no host, which a lot of people have been taking to social media and saying that the Oscars were super boring, super bland, um, without a host, and just not what they usually are. While I still enjoyed watching the Oscars, I definitely think that it was kind of strange without a host. Obviously, if you guys didn't know, Kevin Hart was originally going to be the host but stepped down because of some dirty laundry that was aired about his past. So they decided to do it without a host, which I definitely think it was just a little strange. It seemed that a lot of the people that were up there, because you know usually they have the host and then you have people come on and they are the ones that announce who won the award. In that case it seemed a little strange because you had, it didn't seem like a cohesive show. You had a lot of different people coming on, a lot of actors and actresses and people who weren't even actresses and actresses, actors and actresses come on and all of them different levels, uh, so a lot of them were really nervous and it was a little strange, their delivery was a little off, so that was definitely weird. But moving on from that, I just want to start off by saying Adam Lambert opening up the show with Queen, super amazing. I have been living for this honoring Queen type of year. This is their year. I, I mean, I know that they've had their year, but this is definitely a really awesome paying tribute to Queen. I've uh, had so much stuff lately. Adam Lambert, I absolutely love Adam Lambert. I actually saw him in concert, and this was probably the year after American Idol when he was on it. For those of, those of you who know or know who he is, for those of you who don't, he's an amazing singer. He is a longtime Queen fan, so I think that it's really nice that he got to open the Oscars. It was actually really funny during the performance. I actually laughed a little bit because the crowd seemed really stiff. Granted, they were in... Uh, million dollar gowns and suits but it was a little funny which brings to mind because there was no host it seems that they tried to I don't know if it was just me but it seemed that they tried to fill you know the bits where there would normally be a host with a bunch of like live music which was a little strange I did like showcasing the songs but after a while I was like okay I'm here to watch the Oscars. I don't know, but moving on, I their intro was really solid. It always, when they did their little intro about filmmaking and then it had all the clips from the films that came out this year, those always get me going. They make me really sentimental for some reason, but I really enjoyed that. If you guys can look that up, definitely do so. While they did really great with their little opening um, footage for the Oscars, they're in memoriam, and I don't know if it's just me, again, but the In Memoriam seemed extremely choppy this year. It was really strange. Usually what they do is they will show the person's name who had passed. And then if they have a clip, they'll, like, play the clip. This time instead, they were just showing, like, a picture of the person on set. Or, like, this really strange clip that had, like, it was really short and had no context. So that was a little weird too. It just seemed really choppy. It went by really fast this year, which was interesting. Uh, usually it's a lot longer, and I'm not, not just because there was, weren't enough people, but I just think because of the way it was edited and put together, it was a little odd. This brings us up to the winners of the Oscars. It was kind of predictable. I definitely thought that Black Panther and Bohemian Rhapsody were going to clean up in the award sections, as well as Roma, if you guys haven't seen that. I definitely thought those three films were going to clean up, which they did. It did seem that a lot of people, probably because first-time nominations and first-time winners up there, were not prepared at all, like, for their speech. And it was, it was, some of them it was endearing, it was funny, and others it was like, Okay, this is really awkward. I don't know if it was me, but this was a really awkward Oscars to watch. A lot of people were just like 
standing up there not sure what to do and then they didn't play the music and then they were just standing there like oh I'm done <laughs> like type thing so that was a little funny. Rami won for best actor in Bohemian Rhapsody. I definitely saw that one coming. I did not however see best actress. I did not think that Olivia Coleman was gonna win. I, not that her performance was any less but I definitely thought that it was going to be Glenn Close that won for Best Actress, so a lot of people are really upset about that. I don't think that there's any reason to be upset um, because we are acknowledging that she did a phenomenal job. I just genuinely thought that uh, Glenn Close is going to win, and so did Olivia Coleman, which was actually really funny. Her speech was one of the ones where she wasn't pre prepared for it, but it was actually a really good speech. Um, again, that was a little bit of a highlight, so you guys should really look it up. So Green Book won for Best Picture overall, which... Honestly, I think it says a lot, and I am very pleased that it won. I definitely think that it should have. There were a lot of things that I think... No, I was going to say something about the Emmys, but I definitely thought that it was going to win. A lot of people were really surprised about it, but I think it says a lot. I think that this year's Oscars was very focused on not just, like, the superficiality of it. It was very focused on the content that films bring, not only to screen, but to the culture, to people's lives, to people's hearts. Um, so I really did like that theme throughout the Oscars. The ending was very strange. It seemed like they didn't know how to end it, and it was really awkward. They were just like, okay, I guess that's it. Bye, guys. So yeah, overall, the Oscars didn't seem... It seemed as though it was all over the place. I don't really think it was boring, but it definitely wasn't the best Oscar show. I did, however, like the theme that I mentioned, and I am very glad that Bohemian Rhapsody and Queen has been recognized so much this year, and I'm really glad to see that continued into the Oscars. And that's going to be it for my little recap slash highlights. Again, I didn't run through everything. I just said things that really stuck out to me as I was watching the Oscars. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. This video is extremely long right now. If you missed my recap of the Emmys, make sure to go watch that as well, although it's like you're going to be traveling backwards. But anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.